Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give us you, Father God, every inch of the way. <laughs> you know, we just need the Lord. Come on in. Just come into this space. Come into this place. Amen. Lord, give me you, Lord. Lord, we need you more, Jesus. Lord, we need a word here today. Lord, we need to rekindle our lives with you, Father God. Lord, we need fresh encounters every morning. I'm telling you, of the third kind, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that you have given us you, Father God. We can have a lot of things in this world, Father God, but without you, without you, Lord, we want you, Lord, today, Father God. We want you in our lives, Father God. We need you in our lives, Father God. Everything else, everything else just has to wait. Amen. Hallelujah. Just express that in the love of God here today. You know what, Lord, I love you. If you're just waking up, I want you to tell the Lord, I love you. You know, make it a brand new start with expressing the love of God in your life for the life that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we need you. Lord, we need you, Heavenly Father. Lord, we need you in our coming. Lord, we need you in our going. Lord, we need you more than ever in our lives. Father God, we, you cover us with the blood of Jesus. You cover us, Lord. Because many probably don't have covers here today. But Lord, you cover us. Father, you've anointed us. Lord, you've placed over us, hallelujah, a covering of the blood, Father. There's no witchcraft, there's no demonic spirits, there's no hechicería, brujería, come on now. Anything of, in the demonic world that can come and try to tear us down or break us down. No, the only thing that may control our lives is the work and the purpose and the promise of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that we're covered from the very crown of our head to the very soles of our feet, that you have blessed us, oh, indeed. Father God, without you, we have nothing, we are nothing, and you allow our cup to overflow. I'm telling you, there's a new wine that's flowing in our lives today, just like that miracle, wonder-working uh, wine that was given at the first miracle in Canaan. I'm telling you, God turned that water into wine. And I'm sharing with you today, I don't know what you are needing to be turned your water into, but whatever water that you may be into, <laughs> whatever trouble, whatever circumstance, Whatever situation, whatever water you have run to, and today God's going to create it into wine. Are you listening to me, church? Wine, a new thing, a new promise, a new hope, a new, a new, a new destiny. You know, because you've come to know the new you. See, it's knowing who you are and to whose you are belong to. I'm telling you, there's a love and encouragement here today. You know, God has blessed us so. And you know, we want to give into our third world countries here today. I want you to consider to uh, giving to in not only India, but to our Pakistan family there well, we have the orphanage right now. Amen. The kids are crying out and needing that personal touch and needing that help from those who can. And I'm here to tell you that anyone that may be hearing this at the sound of my voice, you know what? We can reach for that dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. 
Whatever God puts into your heart, maybe it's thirty dollars. Well, how can you move from one dollar to thirty dollars? Well, each day of the month, amen. On February, it's twenty-eight, and other months it's maybe thirty, and some months it's thirty-one. Come on now. So whatever God puts into your heart to give into our third world countries today, we want to make an impact. And as you sow your seed into this ministry, that so will you be doing. You know, we have our increase into our third world countries, Nigeria, that we are opening up, amen, our transitioning home. Uh, they'll be doing some painting. They'll be doing a lot of different things to get it up and going. That uh, home will be turning into a transformation home. Amen. Uh, they will be able to be planting seeds and giving as well into our third world countries because that place will be creating jobs now for those who need a miracle in their lives. You know, there is just so much blessing that we're increasing from the very crown of our heads to the very soles of our feet. And I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be blessed. And I want you to know that you are favored here today. So let's continually to be uh, marching on in the things of Christ and seeing all the things that God wants to do in your life as well. You know what? We're here to stay there's a longevity and you know what we want to be blessed because we are blessed literally from the crown of our head to the very soles of our feet so be blessed today church stay encouraged stay connected and we will see you soon in jesus name i pray amen